What it do, T-Squad fam? It's me, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I am here with a new Spill the Tea video. So, word came out today that Sister Sister star Tia Maori and star of The Game and other television shows has officially settled her divorce with her ex, Corey Hardrick. So, Yahoo reports that Tia Maori has officially settled her divorce and will not pay a dime in support to her ex-husband. Hooray! Hooray! Because you know these men have been getting some of the bag, honey. Uh-uh. According to new legal documents obtained by The Blast, Maori and Corey Harderick agreed on a simple settlement that will allow each of them to help support their children together on an ongoing basis. In the filing, the former couple agreed to share joint legal and physical custody of their two kids. Specifically, the duo will split the costs associated with raising their family, including private school tuition and fees for extracurricular activities. The famous actress is getting something in this deal that is quite valuable. In the agreement, Maori will get full ownership of the family's home in Studio City. It should be noted that the house is worth $4.3 million. Go ahead, girl. So if she ever needs the bag, she can sell it and get the money. Yes, girl. According to Redfin, it is a 4,871-square-foot house on an 8,496 square foot lot with five bedrooms and six bathrooms. This home is currently off the market. It last sold on October 30th, 2015 for 2.6 million. Okay, so they've put into the house and now the worth has gone up. Yes, girl, that's what you wanna do. You wanna buy it you know, renovate it, upgrade it. And so now if she decides to sell it, she gonna make back the money that they bought the house for and then profit another two million and something in her pocket. Yes, girl. So in other words, they might quite, wait a minute, in other words, they might quite the profit they made, they, they wrote that wrong. They made quite the profit since buying the home. It should be noted, it's possible Tia paid for the home and is just keeping it in their split. We know she did. I mean, come on now. So in the end, Tia will not pay a dime in child support or spousal support. One interesting clause in this agreement has to do with new romantic partners. The former couple entered an entire explanation in the agreement for when and how you are allowed to introduce a new person to the kids. Specifically, it states, each party is restrained from introducing the minor children to a new romantic partner until the party has been in an exclusive relationship with the romantic partner for at least six months. That's understandable because I don't want just any and everybody around my kids. In all honesty, I think it should be a year. <laughs> it should be after a year at least because, you know, this person is going to have some staying power. Six months is a little bit too short for me. You know, even after a year, you just start to really be yourself around somebody, you know, depending on who you are. I'm going to be myself regardless. But at least they got something, you know, already written in stone for when and if that happens. It continues, though, each party is further restrained from permitting his or her new romantic partner from spending overnights with the minor children or with or with that custodial parent during the first six months of the exclusive relationship. OK, that's understandable once again, you know, because you can't be trusting everybody to be around your kids. Also, Tia and Corey are not allowed to speak negatively about the other one in front of the kids. The agreement spells out this as neither party shall speak in a negative, disrespectful, or derogatory manner to or about the other party in the children's presence or within hearing distance of the minor children. So somebody must have been talking about somebody around the kids. <laughs> Who y'all think it was? Y'all think it was Tia talking about him on the phone with uh, Tamara? Or do y'all think it was him talking to his homeboys about Tia and how she left him? Y'all let me know. 
Um, plus, they are forced to make sure other family members and friends comply with this order. Mm, so it must have been Tia. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tia and Corey asked for that to be put in. I don't want you or your sister talking about me, child. As we reported, Mari announced a couple's divorce on Instagram saying, I have always been honest with my fans and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. These decisions are never easy and not without sadness. She continued, we will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. I am grateful for all the happy times we had together and want to thank my friends, family, and fans for your love and support as we start this new chapter moving forward in our lives well i'm happy for tia that you know <clears throat> uh that the settlement went in her favor no spousal support she gets to keep the house profit and make money off of it they both are responsible for the financial well-being of their children as they should be and i like the clause about you know any new romantic partners coming into their lives i personally think that it should have been a year um, that you can't introduce the your children to them and having them spend over the nights and all of that stuff. <clears throat> because, like, once again, you don't really know somebody, know somebody after six months. Hey, you never even really know somebody, to be honest with you, child. But, um, yeah, I think that six months to me is still too short, to be honest with you, to be introducing somebody to your kids. Um, and then especially having somebody spending the night at your house while your kids is there, like, First of all, your children are just adjusting to their parents not even being with each other. They're used to growing up in a house with both of you, especially their oldest child, Cree, who understands fully well what's going on. He's used to seeing his parents together. So imagine going from being raised with both of my parents to my parents splitting up and now my daddy not in the home. Now he has his own place. Mama's still staying at the house. And then we got to go back and forth to you know our parents house we got to get adjusted to that then on top of that you meet somebody and now my mom or daddy dating a new person and I got to get used to this person it's weird you know anybody that grew up you know with their parents dating somebody it's always weird I never like none of my mama or daddy girlfriends or boyfriends like mm -mm. like it just seemed too much I wanted my parents to be together now as an adult what was I thinking because them niggas did not need to be together at all but you know children you know most times want to see their parents together so it's it has to be a very hard adjustment for at least Cree in this situation but hopefully they both be able to move on be great co-parents and find love elsewhere you know that pray that their uh, careers continue to thrive we all love Tia Tia is a national treasure we want the best for her we want her to continue to thrive and just be a beautiful bad b okay so yeah that is the t on their divorce settlement let's talk down below about it make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button you guys i love you and i'll see you on the next video bye